Chapter 1. Understanding Self-Confidence As Sally woke up and sat up in her bed, she couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the events that had been happening in her life lately. She had just started her new job and was struggling to adapt to the new environment. Her romantic relationship was on the rocks, and her mental health was at an all-time low. All of these challenges seemed to be crushing her self-confidence, which had always been her strong suit. However, this morning was different. Sally decided to take control of her mindset and shift her perspective on the situation. Instead of focusing on the negative, she started to think about all of the unique abilities that she had and how much value she brought to the table. She reminded herself that she was more than capable of handling the challenges that were in front of her and that her self-worth was not defined by external factors. Sally knew that building trust in her abilities was crucial for her mental health and overall positivity. She started to implement small changes in her daily routine, such as making time for self-care activities, being more assertive in her communication with others, and setting achievable goals for herself. Over time, she saw a significant improvement in her self-esteem and her ability to handle difficult situations with ease. The importance of self-confidence went beyond just personal fulfillment. It also had a significant impact on Sally's relationships with others. As she started to trust her abilities more, she became more open and vulnerable with her partner, and they were able to work through their issues together. She also noticed that her positive mindset attracted more positivity and support from those around her. Through this experience, Sally learned that self-confidence was not just a belief in oneself, it was a way of life. It required the right mindset, a positive perspective, and a commitment to mental health and self-care. It helped her to build trust in her abilities, to recognize her self-worth, and to create more meaningful connections with others. As Sally closed her eyes, ready to start her day, she took a deep breath and smiled, knowing that no matter what challenges came her way, she had the tools and mindset to handle them with grace and confidence. Her self-confidence was not just a superficial trait. It was a core value that defined who she was as a person. Question, what is self-confidence? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2. Building Self-Confidence As the new year approached, Sarah knew that she wanted to make some changes in her life. She had always struggled with self-confidence and wanted to change that. Her first step was setting achievable goals for herself. She decided that she would challenge herself to learn new skills that would help her with personal growth and improvement. Sir realized that self-care was also an important factor in building self-confidence. She started taking care of her physical and mental health by eating healthier, exercising daily, and practicing meditation. She noticed that these small changes made a big difference in the way she felt about herself. Though Sarah had set her eyes on a goal, achieving it was still a challenge. There were days when she felt unmotivated and wondered if she had made the right decision. However, her determination to succeed kept her going. She knew that the only way to improve was to keep pushing herself and not giving up. Learning new skills was not an easy feat, but Sarah was sure that it was what she needed to build her self-confidence. She started by taking up courses online and attending workshops that would enhance her abilities. With each passing day, she found herself getting better and that motivated her to keep going. The journey was not without its difficulties, but Sarah pushed through. She faced numerous setbacks along the way, but she knew that it was all part of the growth process. It was essential for her to fail learn, and make the necessary adjustments. Through the course of her self-improvement journey, Sarah learned that self-confidence could only come from within. She had spent so much time seeking validation from others that she had forgotten to believe in herself. 
Her newfound self-assurance gave her the courage to speak up at work, make new friends, and take risks she had never considered before. Building self-confidence had undoubtedly been challenging, but Sarah knew the journey was far from over. She had come too far to stop now. She was determined to keep working on herself, pushing herself to reach new heights and continue to grow. In the end, Sarah learned that building self-confidence is about taking small steps every day and never giving up. It was about being patient, kind, and loving towards herself, learning new things and continuously improving. With determination and hard work, Sarah knew she could achieve anything she set her mind to. Question, what are some ways to build self-confidence? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Overcoming Self-Doubt As Jane sat in her bedroom, her mind was filled with negative thoughts. She doubted her abilities and wondered if she was good enough for the task at hand. Her self-doubt had gotten the best of her, and she had lost all confidence. It was a feeling she hated and had dealt with for years. But this time, Jane was determined to overcome her self-doubt. She knew that she needed to change her mindset and perspective. She decided to try something new, something she hadn't done before. She looked for support and found it in her family and friends who encouraged her to shift her mindset. She began practicing self-compassion and mindfulness, which helped her to become more aware of her negative thoughts. She started talking kindly to herself instead of putting herself down. She looked for affirmations and positive thinking exercises that would help her shift her thoughts from negative to positive. Slowly, Jane started to notice a change in her mindset. She was becoming more optimistic and hopeful. She took each challenge as an opportunity for growth and learning. She realized that self-doubt was a temporary feeling and that she had the power to overcome it. It wasn't easy, and there were moments when she felt like giving up. But she kept reminding herself that with a little bit of effort and perseverance, she could overcome anything. She started seeing things from a different perspective and refusing to let her self-doubt control her. Jane's growth was a result of her determination, support, and mindset shift. She learned that self-doubt was natural and that it was okay to experience it from time to time. However, it was essential to address it and take action to overcome it. The journey towards overcoming self-doubt wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Jane was no longer held back by her self-doubt. She had discovered her inner strength and resilience, which had been hidden beneath her doubts for years. Jane's experience taught her that mindset and perspective were everything. With a positive attitude and a willingness to learn and grow, anything was possible. She now lived her life more mindfully, taking the time to appreciate every moment and all the good things that came with it. Jane had overcome her self-doubt, and in doing so, she had discovered a new level of confidence and self-love. It was a journey that was challenging but ultimately rewarding. She was proud of herself for taking that first step towards growth and for never giving up on herself. Question, how can you overcome self-doubt? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, The Impact of Self-Confidence The impact of self-confidence can be felt in various aspects of our lives, including our relationships, career, well-being, success, performance, personal growth, communication, and self-improvement. For example, when we have self-confidence, we tend to communicate more effectively with others. We can express ourselves more clearly and confidently, leading to better relationships with friends, family, and co-workers. We are better able to assert ourselves and ask for what we need or want, which can lead to increased satisfaction and happiness in our personal and professional lives. Self-confidence also plays a crucial role in our career success. When we believe in ourselves and our abilities, 
we are more motivated to pursue our goals and take on new challenges. We are less likely to be held back by fear or self-doubt, leading to greater job satisfaction and opportunities for advancement. Additionally, self-confidence can positively impact our overall well-being. When we feel good about ourselves and our abilities, we are more likely to take care of our physical and mental health. We may be more likely to exercise, eat well, and practice self-care, leading to greater happiness and longevity. Furthermore, self-confidence can lead to improved performance in many areas of our lives. Whether we are pursuing a hobby or trying to excel at work, believing in ourselves can give us the push we need to strive for excellence. When we have confidence in our abilities, we may also be more resilient in the face of setbacks, able to bounce back from failure and continue to pursue our goals. Personal growth is another area where self-confidence can have a tremendous impact. When we have confidence in ourselves, we are more likely to take risks and try new things, leading to greater personal growth and development. We may be more open to learning and exploring new ideas, leading to a richer and more fulfilling life. In short, self-confidence is a vital quality that can have a dramatic impact on every aspect of our lives. By cultivating belief in ourselves and our abilities, we can improve our relationships, advance our careers, enhance our well-being, achieve greater success, improve our performance, experience personal growth, and improve our communication and self-improvement. While building self-confidence may take time and effort, the rewards are well worth the investment. Question, what is the impact of self-confidence? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Embracing Your Inner Warrior. Shelby sat at her kitchen table, staring off into the distance, lost in thought. She had always been a passive person, never one to stand up for herself. But lately, she had felt a shift inside of her. A deep desire to tap into her inner warrior and discover what she was truly made of. The journey had not been easy. She faced challenge after challenge, each one testing her strength and resilience. But instead of crumbling under the weight of it all, she found herself growing stronger with each obstacle she overcame. It wasn't overnight, but slowly but surely, Shelby started to build confidence in herself. No longer did she shy away from confrontation or back down when faced with an obstacle. She found that the more she pushed herself, the more mental toughness she gained. Perseverance became her middle name. She refused to give up in the face of adversity, no matter how tough the situation may be. That determination fueled her inner fire, driving her towards her goals and pushing her beyond her limits. The road to self-empowerment was not an easy one, but Shelby knew that she had to embrace her inner warrior to succeed. Her mental strength grew stronger, much like a muscle, with each new challenge she faced. And through it all, she found courage she never knew existed. She began to see herself in a different light, one that was strong, capable, and unbreakable. She discovered a depth of resilience that she never knew existed, learned to stand up for herself, and trust in her own abilities. As Shelby looked back on her journey to finding her inner warrior, she realized that the key to unlocking her strength was within her all along. She just needed to dig deep and find the courage to embrace it. Now, as she faced new challenges in her life, she did so with a newfound sense of confidence and determination. Shelby knew that with a little mental toughness and a lot of resilience, she could overcome anything life threw her way. As she stood up from the table, Shelby felt empowered and unbreakable. She was a warrior, strong, capable, and ready to take on whatever came her way. Question, what does it mean to embrace your inner warrior? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, Self-Confidence and Fear As Sarah prepared to speak in front of a large crowd, 
she couldn't help but feel a knot in her stomach. Fear and self-doubt were consuming her mind, making her question her abilities and whether or not she was even capable of giving a successful presentation. But Sarah knew deep down that she had to push through her fear and summon her self-confidence. She took a deep breath, closed her eyes, and visualized herself delivering the presentation flawlessly. With newfound courage, Sarah approached the podium and began speaking. Her initial fear melted away as she continued to speak, realizing that the audience was engaged and interested in what she had to say. After the presentation, Sarah was met with applause and compliments. Her self-confidence grew, and she felt a sense of empowerment knowing that she was able to overcome her fear and deliver a successful presentation. This experience taught Sarah the importance of taking action and pushing through fear in order to achieve growth and self-improvement. She realized that bravery and courage are not the absence of fear, but rather the willingness to face it head-on and move forward despite it. From that day forward, Sarah made a conscious effort to prioritize self-empowerment and self-confidence in all aspects of her life. She began to take risks and pursue opportunities that previously seemed daunting, knowing that the only way to grow and improve is to step outside of one's comfort zone. Sarah also found motivation in the fact that she was not the only one facing fears and self-doubt. She discovered a community of like-minded individuals who were also looking to improve themselves and grow as individuals, motivating each other along the way. Through this journey, Sarah learned that self-confidence and fear are intertwined in a cyclical relationship. The more self-confidence one has, the less fear they experience, and the less fear they feel, the more self-confidence they build. In conclusion, Sarah's experience serves as a reminder that self-confidence and fear are not fixed traits, but rather can be improved and overcome with effort and dedication. By taking action and facing fears head-on, we can achieve growth and self-improvement, leading to a more fulfilling and empowered life. Question How can self-confidence help you overcome fear? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7 Self-Love and Self-Confidence As Jenna sat nervously in front of the mirror, she felt a wave of self-doubt wash over her. She had always struggled with self-confidence, especially when it came to her appearance. It seemed like no matter how much makeup she applied or how stylish her outfit was, she just couldn't shake the feeling that she wasn't good enough. But today was different. Today, Jenna was determined to start loving herself for who she was, flaws and all. She took a deep breath and began to examine herself in the mirror. Instead of focusing on her perceived imperfections, she tried to look at herself with a kinder, more accepting gaze. She reminded herself that her worth was not determined by her external appearance, but rather by the value she brought to the world through her kindness, empathy, and inner beauty. As she studied her reflection, Jenna began to notice things she had never appreciated before. The way her eyes sparkled when she laughed, the cute freckles she had always tried to cover up, and the way her smile lit up a room. With each passing minute, Jenna felt her self-esteem growing. She started to see herself in a kinder, more compassionate light. She began to realize that her relationship with herself was the key to unlocking a world of self-love and self-acceptance. It wasn't an easy journey, but Jenna continued to push herself to see the positive aspects of her physical appearance. She found joy in experimenting with different hairstyles that made her feel confident and beautiful. She bought clothes that accentuated her best features instead of hiding them away. But more importantly, Jenna began to prioritize her relationships with others, recognizing that her value as a person wasn't just based on her looks, but on how she treated those around her. She made a conscious effort to be kinder, more patient, and more empathetic, and as a result, she found that her inner beauty shone through more brightly than ever. 
As Jenna stood in front of the mirror, she felt a sense of true pride and self-worth. She had come so far in her journey of self-love and self-acceptance, and she knew that it was only the beginning. With her newfound confidence and compassion, she was ready to take on the world, one kind act at a time. Question, how does self-love relate to self-confidence? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Self-Confidence and Success As Lily walked onto the stage, her heart was racing. She had been preparing for this performance for months, and now that the moment had finally arrived, she felt a sudden wave of doubt overwhelm her. Would she be able to deliver the kind of performance that she had been envisioning for so long? For a few moments, Lily stood frozen on stage, unsure of what to do or say. But as she looked out at the audience, she made a decision. No matter what happened, she was going to give it her all. Drawing on the self-confidence and self-belief that she had been cultivating for years, Lily took a deep breath and began the performance. And as she danced and sang her heart out, she felt a sense of liberation wash over her. When the performance was over, Lily felt a sense of euphoria. She had done it. She had delivered the kind of performance that she had always dreamed of, and it felt amazing. She couldn't help but marvel at the power of self-confidence and positive thinking. Later, as Lily reflected on her achievement, she realized that her success was not just the result of her hard work and talent. It was also a testament to her resilience, her growth mindset, and her motivation to keep pushing forward. Over the years, Lily had faced many challenges and setbacks. There had been times when she had doubted herself, when she had struggled to overcome her fear and self-doubt. But every time she had fallen, she had picked herself back up again with renewed determination and strength. And as she looked at her progress and growth, Lily realized that self-confidence was not something that you were born with. It was something that could be cultivated and developed over time. By embracing a growth mindset, focusing on positive thinking, and building resilience in the face of challenges, Lily had been able to achieve her goals and dreams. As she stepped off stage and into the arms of her friends and family, Lily felt a deep sense of gratitude. She knew that her success was not just hers alone but was also a reflection of the love and support that she had received from those around her. With a smile on her face and a sense of self-belief in her heart, Lily knew that she was ready to take on whatever challenges lay ahead. For she knew that with self-confidence and the right mindset, anything was possible. Question, how does self-confidence contribute to success? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9 the pitfalls of perfectionism. Maya had always been a perfectionist. She would strive to exceed everyone's expectations, which made her feel accomplished and proud of herself. However, her unrealistic expectations and self-criticism constantly caused her self-doubt and fear of failure, leading to negative self-talk that affected her self-esteem. Her perfectionism was not just limited to school or work, it was present in every aspect of her life. She would spend hours perfecting her makeup or outfit before going out, ever settling for anything less than perfection. Maya's mindset was that perfectionism equaled success, and that mindset was what drove her towards her accomplishments. However, it was slowly becoming her downfall. One day, while studying for her exams, Maya found herself unable to focus. Her mind was clouded with self-doubt, and negative self-talk filled her mind. She was convinced that she was not good enough, and that everything she had accomplished was simply luck. Maya's fear of failure was holding her back, and she was unable to concentrate on anything else. It took her hours to realize that her perfectionism was the root of her problems. She had set such high expectations for herself that anything less than perfect was unacceptable. She had lost sight of the importance of self-compassion and positive thinking. 
she realized that it was essential to be kind to oneself and to celebrate the small things. Maya decided to start implementing small changes in her life to shift her mindset. She made a mental note to start celebrating her successes, regardless of how small they were, and to stop being so hard on herself when she makes a mistake. She began to cultivate a mindset of self-compassion, slowly building her self-esteem and confidence. Maya learned that perfectionism comes with many pitfalls, and unrealistic expectations can lead to negative self-talk and self-doubt. However, by changing her mindset and embracing a more compassionate attitude towards herself, she was on the path to overcoming her fears. As Maya continued to put her newfound positive thinking into practice, she began to notice significant changes in her life. She found that she was more confident and her self-esteem had improved. She was no longer consumed by her fears or worried about what others thought of her. Her compassionate mindset had taught her that self-love and self-care go hand in hand, and that was what helped her overcome the pitfall of perfectionism. Maya now lived a happy and fulfilled life, celebrating both her accomplishments and her mistakes, knowing that both are essential for growth. She knew that life wasn't perfect, but with the right mindset, self-compassion can lead to a fulfilling and meaningful life. Question, why is perfectionism a pitfall when it comes to self-confidence? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, Self-Confidence and Communication As a kid, Sarah was always known to be quiet and introverted. She often kept to herself, never spoke up in class, and had a hard time communicating with others. Her timid demeanor made it difficult for her to make friends or build relationships with others. But Sarah knew that self-improvement was key to achieving her personal growth and success, so she set out to work on her interpersonal skills. Sarah began building her self-confidence by learning how to communicate assertively. She started to express her thoughts and opinions in meetings at work and in social settings, even if it meant going against the grain. She discovered that by communicating her perspectives clearly, she was able to get things done more effectively and build deeper, more meaningful relationships with others. But Sarah knew that assertiveness was only half the battle. She also needed to work on her listening skills to truly become an effective communicator. She found ways to listen actively, giving her full attention to whoever was speaking to her. By doing so, Sarah could truly understand what others were saying and respond in a way that built deeper connections between herself and those around her. As she grew more comfortable with communication, Sarah began to explore new ways to express herself. She started to experiment with different forms of self-expression, like art and poetry, to help her find her voice. Sarah found that these outlets allowed her to feel more confident in her abilities and more comfortable in sharing her thoughts and feelings with others. Relationship building was a skill that came naturally to Sarah, but it took some time for her to develop the confidence to put her interpersonal skills into action. She began to use her newfound self-confidence to build deeper connections with the people around her. Sarah found that by being open and honest with others, she could build trust and respect, which ultimately led to stronger relationships. Sarah's journey towards personal growth was not an easy one, but it was worth it. Through hard work and determination, she was able to overcome her shyness and become a confident, assertive communicator. Sarah's interpersonal skills allowed her to build meaningful relationships and express herself in new and exciting ways. Her journey is a testament to the importance of self-improvement and the power of self-confidence and communication. Question, how does self-confidence impact communication? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, Maintaining Self-Confidence as she sat at her desk, staring at the blank screen in front of her, Jessica couldn't help 
but feel a wave of self-doubt wash over her. She had been working hard on her novel for months, but as the deadline approached, she found herself struggling to find the confidence to push through and finish. Taking a deep breath, she reminded herself of the importance of self-care and maintaining boundaries. She closed her laptop and took a few moments to reflect on her progress so far. Even though she had hit a rough patch, she knew that it was all a part of the personal growth and self-improvement process. Practicing mindfulness had also been a helpful tool in her journey towards greater self-confidence. Taking a few minutes each day to focus on her breathing and clear her mind had helped her stay centered and focus on her goals. To provide some positive reinforcement, Jessica decided to revisit some of the affirmations she had written down to remind herself of her strengths and capabilities. I am capable of achieving great things, she repeated to herself. With renewed motivation and a sense of purpose, she reopened her laptop and began typing away. As she wrote, she reminded herself that every word she put down was a step forward towards completing her novel and achieving her goals. Even as the doubts and insecurities crept back in, Jessica held onto her newfound confidence and pushed through. She knew that setbacks were a natural part of the journey towards success, and that with persistence and determination, she would ultimately reach her destination. As the day drew to a close, though she had not hit her desired word count, Jessica knew that she had made progress. She had stayed true to her commitment to self-care, reflected on her journey thus far, practiced mindfulness, and provided herself with positive reinforcement. As she closed her laptop for the night, she reminded herself that maintaining self-confidence is an ongoing process that requires daily effort and attention. But with perseverance and the right mindset, she knew that she could achieve anything she set her mind to. Question, what are some ways to maintain self-confidence? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 12, Unlocking Your Potential As a child, Emma had always been told that she had potential. Her parents and teachers constantly reminded her that she was smart and capable of achieving great things. They had high expectations for her future and encouraged her to set big goals and chase after her dreams. However, as Emma got older, she found that her self-confidence began to falter. She started to doubt her own abilities and worried that she wouldn't be able to live up to the expectations set for her. She became afraid to take risks and lacked the courage to try new things. It wasn't until she started on a journey of self-discovery that Emma began to unlock her potential. She began to explore her passions and interests and discovered new talents that she never knew she had. She found that the more she focused on her self-improvement and personal growth, the more motivated she became to achieve her goals. Emma began to set small goals for herself, and with each success, her self-confidence grew. She found the courage to take risks and try new things, even if they scared her. She realized that failure was not something to be afraid of, but rather an opportunity to learn and grow. Through her journey of self-actualization, Emma discovered that unlocking her potential wasn't just about achieving success in the eyes of others. It was about finding fulfillment and happiness in her own life. She learned that her dreams and desires were just as important as the expectations of others, and that it was up to her to pursue them. As Emma continued to work on herself, she found that her newfound self-confidence began to affect every aspect of her life. She was more successful in her career, happier in her relationships, and more fulfilled in her hobbies and interests. Emma's journey of self-discovery had unlocked her potential in more ways than she could have ever imagined. She had found the courage to pursue her dreams, the motivation to achieve her goals, and the self-confidence to believe in herself. And as she looked back on her journey, she knew that it was only the beginning. 
She was excited to see where her future would take her, and was confident that with her newfound self-belief, she could achieve anything she set her mind to. Question. How can self-confidence help you unlock your potential?